Welcome to our video on Step 2 of Send to Amazon, a streamlined shipment workflow that saves you time by simplifying fulfillment by Amazon or FBA shipment creation. Now that you've completed Step 1 and chose inventory to send, let's continue with Step 2 and confirm shipping. Make sure that you've completed Step 1 already before proceeding to Step 2. Depending on the SKUs you select in Step 1 of the Send to Amazon workflow, your inventory could be sent to more than one Amazon Fulfillment Center. These are represented by shipment cards that appear in Step 2 of the workflow. When necessary, sending your inventory to multiple fulfillment centers helps ensure products can reach more customers more quickly and gives you the best chance to meet prime customer delivery promises. Click View Contents to see how your boxes are allocated across each shipment and to download a pack list. You can also print your SKU labels here if you haven't done so already. After reviewing the shipments, locate the Ship Date field and enter the date that you expect to hand off your inventory to your carrier. If you're unsure of the exact shipping date, make your best guess for now. You can update this field later. Providing an accurate ship date helps us plan for receiving your inventory in our fulfillment network and helps prevent unnecessary delays when delivering your products to customers. Next, choose the shipping mode. This refers to how your shipment will be transported. You can send your inventory as individual boxes by selecting the Small Parcel Delivery or SPD option or as pallets by selecting the Less Than Truckload or LTL option. You can now choose multiple modes of shipment in the Send to Amazon workflow by unchecking the Shipping Mode checkbox. If you choose SPD, you'll be prompted to select a carrier to ship your products to our fulfillment centers. You can take advantage of discounted rates by choosing an Amazon-partnered carrier. This option allows you to purchase and print shipping labels within Send to Amazon. If you decide to use a different carrier, select one from the non-Amazon-partnered carrier drop-down list. If you don't know which carrier you'll use, or if you'll be using more than one, select Other. Review the estimated shipping charges in the bottom right corner of your screen before you accept and confirm shipping. If you choose the LTL option, you'll be able to see estimated pallet configurations based on the box content information you provided in Step 1 of the workflow. These are used to estimate the cost for shipping LTL, which serves as guidance for deciding the way your shipment will be transported. To reduce your overall shipping costs, you have the option to modify your pallet configurations and to confirm the carrier in Step 4 of the workflow. After finalizing the shipping mode, review the shipments and click Confirm Shipping. At this point, your shipments will be created and an ID will be generated for each shipment. The next STA step is printing box labels. Check out the STA Step 3 video to complete this step. Thank you and happy selling in the Amazon store.